early on, I remember I probably was maybe 19 or 20, whenever things would go wrong, I would retreat to water, whether it was a river, a stream. I would walk away feeling different, refreshed, washed, clean. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition. And lift off of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. around the world, like the alien. <laughs> this particular dome was one of the first domes that we made. Here, you'll actually see where the pull plug happened. And this is a friction stirred pull plug. That's too fun. So Artemis is currently the largest, most powerful rocket built to date. And it is the one that we are using to go back to the moon first and then eventually to carry our astronauts to Mars. My dissertation was on research that is now being flown on Artemis. So when I moved down to New Orleans, I watched the largest well tool in the world come online. So I was part of that project as the NASA POC. And then after that, I got to oversee anything that was metal and that touched the rockets. We recently had a launch. That was to test out the actual hardware. The next launch will include astronauts to land the next man, the first woman, and the first African-American on the moon. And so yes, African-Americans have been in space, and yes, women have been in space, but none of us have been able to touch on the moon. So that particular project, Artemis, will be able to do that. I like being a nerd. In 2022, um, one of my dreams, or one of the places I wanted to be was a chief engineer and I was offered a position out at Armstrong. That was my goal. Being a nerd to me means that we have the intellectual capacity to switch up when we need to and start something new. I'm on that one, and that one starts at 7 a.m. my time. Oh, Lord. I am currently working as the airworthiness deputy for the Electrified Powertrain Flight Demonstrator Project. And what that project is, we are working on hybrid electric technology for airplanes. So the shift in my career has been really great for me. It is very interesting how people are surprised that NASA is in this, but the A in NASA is aeronautics. So airworthiness deputy is we kind of help deem that the plane is safe to fly. So it's like the big umbrella. So you have all the subfields and all the subject matter experts doing all of their work at the lower levels. We are in a lot of meetings looking at a lot of different technology and a lot of different things, the engineering that boils into the actual airplane. The idea that the technology we were working on will change the carbon footprint in the world and the things that are affecting us directly here is really cool. <laughs> I've really been uh, connected to the earth for as long as I can recall. Like it's the way that I draw the energy. So living out here on the bayou for me is amazing because I've known water was the element that could recenter my soul for me for a very long time. It's amazing when I ask people, did you know that we have gone through space for decades through New Orleans? And they don't know that. Apollo was built here, okay? New Orleans, the factory is here and people don't really know that. They don't know that NASA resides here. Like me, New Orleans is multi-dimensional, multi-faceted, like an onions and you get to peel back her layers. I found a place that it's okay to be me in, all aspects of me. New Orleans says, come as you are. And so we made New Orleans home. New Orleans, NASA, and me.